Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Ollie de Guzman, and our topic for today is translation of verbal phrases to mathematical phrases and vice versa for grade 7, quarter 2. In this tutorial video, we will be discussing translation of verbal phrases to mathematical phrases and vice versa. Specifically, you will identify keywords that indicate the use of the four fundamental operations as well as translate English phrases into mathematical phrases, translate mathematical phrases into English phrases, then translate English sentences into mathematical sentences, and finally, translate mathematical sentences into English sentences. Before we move on to translation of verbal phrases to mathematical phrases and vice versa, let us recall first the structure of algebra. So algebra is composed of numerals, meaning to say the symbols 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. On the other hand, it is composed of symbols or signs, first of which is operational signs such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and the root as well as letter B, that is the symbol of relationship, which is equal, not equal, greater than, less than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. Then we have C, that is the symbols of grouping, such as, okay, parentheses, braces, and brackets. And finally, we are using variables to represent unknown. So we may use the letters A, B, C, and so on and so forth until X, Y, and C, and other variables. Before we move on to translation of verbal phrases to mathematical phrases and vice versa, it is quite helpful if we know mathematical symbol into English word and vice versa. So here are the following. So if I have this symbol, so this is actually plus, Increase by, added to, the sum of, more than, and total. On the other hand, if we have this symbol, it means that we have minus, decreased by, subtracted from, the difference of, less than, diminish. And this is actually multiplication, so it means times, multiplied by, the product of. While this, the equivalent of this symbol, into uh, English words are, divided by, ratio of, and the quotient. Now that you have an idea on translating symbols into words, let's move on to translating English phrase to mathematical phrase. So let n be a certain number, then translate the phrase to algebraic expressions. So let's have our example. A number is increased by 7. So a number can be translated into symbol as n, increased by plus, and the 7 into numerals. So therefore, the expression a number increased by 7 can be translated into n plus 7. Let's have another example. So 10 diminished by a number. So the word 10 can be translated into symbol as 10 diminished by a subtraction and a number is represented by the variable n. So therefore, so the example 10 diminished by a number can be translated as 10 minus n. Let's have another example. The product of a number and 14. So the product can be translated into the symbol. So we can use also x. Then we have of a number is n and 14. But we need to arrange this one such that we can have 14 times n. However, in algebra, instead of open and close parentheses, the moment that we can put together or juxtapose 14 and n, simply as 14n, it means it is actually multiplication. So therefore, the product of a number and 14 can be translated as 14n. Let's have another example. So the quotient of a number n9. So... The quotient can be translated as division symbol 
all the number is n, then we have 9 as in numerals. But we will rearrange this one such that we have n divided by 9. Or in algebra, sometimes we can use this Binculum symbol as n over 9 as the translation of the quotient of a number n9. Let's have another example. A number more than 10. Again, so a number can be represented as n. More than is plus. Then 10 in symbol is 1, 0. However, if we will encounter the word more than, okay, it means it is translating backwards. Meaning to say the n will comes after 10. So this can be translated as 10 plus n as a symbol. Let's have another example in translating English phrase to mathematical phrase. Say, for instance, I have 20 less than a number. Again, the word 20 can be translated as 2, 0 in symbol. Less than is minus 2 and a number as n. However, we encounter the word less than. So, it means that this is actually translating backwards. So, it means that 20 will come after the symbol n. So, therefore, the symbol of 20 less than a number is n minus 20. A while ago, we'll translate English phrase to mathematical phrase. This time, we will translate mathematical phrase to English phrase. So, let's have example here. So, translate each algebraic expression into English or verbal phrase. So, I have the symbol 4n plus 7. So, let's dissect this. So, this is actually 4 times a number. So, the number is n. Then, the symbol is plus. Then, this symbol 7 is 7. So, if I'll translate this into verbal phrase, I have 4 times a number plus 7. Another way is 7 more than 4 times a number using the translating backwards. Last one is the sum of 4 times a number and 7. Let's have another example. So, I have 2 times the expression g minus 1. So, again, this is 2. The symbol here is actually times. The open and close parenthesis is times. Then we have g as a number. Then we have the difference or minus. Then we have 1. So to translate this into verbal phrase or English phrase, I have 2 times the difference of a number and 1 or the product of 2 and the difference of a number and 1. Let's try another one. So I have 3n minus 5 all over 2. So again, so the numerator can be translated as 3 times a number minus 5. Then this symbol is the quotient and we have 2. So one way to translate this into verbal phrase is the quotient of 3 times a number minus 5 and 2. Another way is the difference of 3 times a number and 5 divided by 2. Let's have 9m plus 2n. So, if we will translate this into English phrase, this can be 9 times a number. Then we have the plus and 2n simply as 2 times another number. So, again, I'll mention here 2 times another number because m, m, n, n are different numbers. So therefore, to translate this, so we have 9 times a number plus 2 times another number. Another way is the sum of 9 times a number and twice another number. So before we move on to translating mathematical sentences into English sentences, Let's clarify first the difference between mathematical phrase and mathematical sentence. So again, if you say mathematical sentence, it means that we will use the symbol of relationship. Meaning to say we are comparing the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So that is why we are using the symbols equal, not equal, greater than, 
less than, less than or equal to, or greater than, or equal to. So that is the main difference between mathematical phrase and mathematical sentence. So we are now ready in translating English sentence to mathematical sentence. So let n be a certain number, then translate each into mathematical sentence. So I have here a number increased by 7 is 10. So again, so a number can be translated as n increased by as plus. 7 into numerals is can be translated as equal sign. Then we have the numeral 10. So therefore, in symbol, I can have n plus 7 is equal to 10. So let's consider another example. So 10 diminished by a number is 2. Again, so 10 in symbol is 1, 0, diminished by as minus. A number can be represented as n is, is equal sign then 2. So in symbol, so... This mathematical sentence is actually 10 minus n is equal to 2. Another example is the product of a number and 4 is less than 8. So the product can be rewritten in symbol as open and close parenthesis. So an other related symbol of a number is 10 and 4 in symbol is less than, can be translated as a symbol as like this and we have 8 so therefore this one in symbol so the product of a number and 4 is less than 8 can be translated as 4n is less than equal to 8 let's have another example so the quotient of a number and 9 is 5 so the quotient can be translated as the symbol or we can use the binculum or the fraction bar of a number is 10 and 9 symbol is is equal sign and 5. So the expression the quotient of a number and 9 is 5 in symbol is n over 9 is equal to 5. So this time, let's move on to translating mathematical sentence to English sentence. So translate each mathematical sentence into English or verbal sentence. So I have here 2 times h minus 3 is equal to 6. Again, so this is 2. 
So the open and close parenthesis meaning to say that is times. Then we will let H as the number or the unknown number. Then we have the difference. So we have 3. Equal symbol is, is, is. Then we have 6. So we have the possible, okay, translation. So we have the product of 2 and the difference of a number and 3 is 6. Another way is 2 times the difference of a number and 3 is 6. Let's try another example. So we have the expression 3n minus 4 all over 2 is equal to 1. So let's dissect. So this expression in the numerator is 3 times or thrice a number minus 4. So we have the quotient, then we have the 2, equal sign is, and we have 1. Again, to translate this one into verbal sentence, we have the quotient of thrice a number minus 4 and 2 is 1. Another one is the difference of thrice a number and 4 divided by 2 is 1. So let us try now 7f minus 2v is equal to 3. Again, so we have 7f is actually 7 times a number. Then we have the difference. 2b is twice another number. Equal sign is equal or is. Then we have 3. So therefore, I can translate this one as the difference of 7 times a number and twice another number is 3. Another way is 7 times a number minus 2 times another number is 3. So that ends our discussion for today. Again, this is Teacher Oni de Guzman. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you and have a nice day.